make your rack application serverless so that you are able to auto scale the application if the users are increasing you are able to save on the compute you are able to save on the cost and also you can version control which means if any error happens you can revert to the previous version so what is rack it is the process by which you ingest the data to the database so when the user ask any question it is able to retrieve relevant information from the database and then use that information to answer the question so this could be a large amount of custom data which you have in your company or personal files you can save all those files in the database and able to ask questions and get answers using ai we are going to make all of this serverless that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about serverless rag we are going to create this rag application the key difference is that we are going to use vector storage from neon that is serverless database in any application the only area which generally stores data is a database we need to convert that to serverless neon provides postgres serverless database so all our data will get stored in this object storage when the user started coming in automatically the compute will be utilized if there are no users this will come back to zero thanks to neon for sponsoring this video using neon database you are able to auto scale save cost make it serverless and version control i'm going to take you through step by step on how you can create rag application and make it serverless then integrate that with the serverless database and finally create a flask app which can be used in cloud functions or aws lambda but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you if your application already uses postgres or if you already know how to use or create sql queries then this is the easiest way to set up a rag application because neon supports pg vector which enables postgres as a vector database we are going to use open ai to embed all the data and store that in the database and grok to use the llama 3.1 model and that will be used in the ai application the whole setup we are going to build using fi data so first step pip install fi data and all these packages then click enter i will put all the code in the description below next export your open ai api key like this next export your grok api key like this and then click enter open ai is for embedding and grok is for using the large language model llama 3.1 next let's create a file called app.py inside the file first let's import from fi assistant import assistant then pdf url knowledge base then pg vector and grok now whenever we upload a pdf file it should automatically get saved to the vector database so we need to create a database now just sign up to neon once after you log in you can create a new project then give a name the location where you want the server to be set the computer size then suspend computer after 5 minutes that's why i'm going to choose so if the user are not using this application for 5 minutes it automatically shuts down but when the user starts using it it can automatically come back up that's the advantage in cost saving so once after you open the project you should be able to see the connection string you can click copy snippet to copy the whole connection string this is how we are going to connect this database also one more thing to note is that the version system is here that is called branches so if i want to create a branch just click on that and create child branch now you can create a name and create a new branch this is used when you want to create a version of your database and it's used for testing purpose or when you want to upgrade now you can see there are two different versions same like a git repo i can see the primary computer is ideal now but as soon as i start using the application it should be active so coming to the app.py file setting up the knowledge base that's where we are going to add the connection string which we copied previously and define the collection name recipes so i'm going to upload a pdf this is the url to the pdf here is the pdf it's about a recipe book so we are going to ask questions based on this recipe book after uploading that to the database so now next step knowledge base dot load next we are going to create assistant that is the ai assistant where we are going to add the knowledge base which we have just uploaded add reference to the prompt true and the large language model which we are going to use is llama 3.1 using grok now the final step assistant dot print response how do i make 
Pad Thai? That's the question which we are going to ask. That's it, only this amount of code and we have created a RAG application with the serverless database. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now it's creating the collection, reading the file and now it's giving me the answer. How do I make Pad Thai? And here are the ingredients and here is the instruction, the tips. And this information is from the PDF which we uploaded. You can see the instruction here and same information you can find that here. Similarly, you are able to upload large amount of files and then ask questions and it is able to respond to you like this. Now finally, we need to package this and put that in the Flask application so that it's easy to move even the application to a serverless solution such as AWS Lambda or Google function. To do that, we are going to use Flask. So here you can see I have initialized the Flask. I've modified the application slightly. So here I can see app.route and the post method. So whatever question we ask, we are going to take that question, ask the assistant and then return the response. That's it. And it's going to use this endpoint, that is slash. Finally, app.run to run the Flask application. Just only this bit of code and we have created a serverless endpoint. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, python serverless.py and then click enter. That's where my code is. Now this automatically ingested the data and it's currently running in this URL. Now you can use this URL to ask questions. So how can we ask questions? Just opening a side terminal, I'm going to use curl command. So here you can see I'm using that endpoint asking the question, how do I make pad thai? After that, click enter. Now you got the response here and you can also see the post request which we received. As simple as that. And now you can easily move this Flask application to Google Cloud Functions or AWS Lambda to make it serverless. Now we have created a serverless rag end to end. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.